I got talked into it on a dare, into going into television by Tim Russert. Tim Russert was a terribly wonderful friend and amazing mentor in that I started doing Meet the Press and I really admired the way he did the work. He didn't just um, sit there and ask the questions. He, he dug in deep, he figured out what the answer might be and then what the next question should be and what the next question should be. And he brought not only a lot of knowledge to his interviews, but a lot of curiosity. He knew what he didn't know. And so he would look at me and think, you've had a different life than I've had. I'll bet there's stuff there I can learn. And he liked having me around for that reason, so I think. So when he offered me a chance to go work in television full time, I said, oh, you must be crazy. I'm not going to do that. And then he kind of dared me. He kind of made it impossible for me to say no, because people had told me, oh, there are a lot of people who make the leap from print to television and they fail. You really want to avoid that. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm fine where I am. I'm working at the New York Times. Why should, covering the White House, why should I bother to ruin it all by going to television? But the more I thought about it, then, then CBS got wind of it, and um, CNN got wind of Tim's interest, and ABC got wind of it. And so when all the networks came knocking, I was, I, I thought you, I couldn't say no anymore, or at least I couldn't consider it anymore, because it seemed like I was getting a signal of some kind. And uh, so I talked to them all and I listened to their offers and in the end the place I felt most comfortable was working with Tim. Um, he's the one who said, listen, I'll give you a producer, we'll teach you television. What he had discovered and what a lot of people had discovered about this point in the mid-90s was that they could hire people who knew how to do television. There were a lot of people who could say, look behind me at the traffic up back here, I'm going to tell you what's happening in the weather today or I'm going to tell you what's, what just happened. The lights are off but I'll tell you a minute ago the police were here, that kind of live shot or you could hire someone who knew how to report and then teach them the television skills. So there was a period of time where they hired several of us who had all been in print and different networks and the idea was we'll teach you the television skills, we'll teach you how to slow down when you speak, which I had to do, teach you how to, to track so that you can deliver an authoritative narration to a taped piece, we'll teach you how to write to picture which was really hard. The first time I went to cover a story for NBC, I forgot to take a cameraman with me. I was so used to going someplace with a notebook and a pencil that it wasn't until I came back and started telling someone what happened, they said, well, where's the tape? And I went, tape? Oh. So it took me a while to get the, the rhythm of doing television the way it's supposed to be done. But Tim kept his promise to me, which is why he remained a, a dear friend until his passing. He made sure that I succeeded, and then when I had a better opportunity to come to work in public broadcasting and have my own program, he then made it work that I could leave. What kind of things were you covering at NBC? I covered Congress and I covered politics. I covered another presidential campaign. Um, this is 1996. And I covered, and I loved covering Congress. Now this was about the time they were impeaching Bill Clinton. So we spent a lot of time trapped up on Capitol Hill uh, reading from the Ken Starr report words that my mother would be shocked to hear me say. And uh, trying to get to the bottom of a story that was unfolding but wasn't quite going where people thought it was going to go. And that's to say the president was going to be impeached ultimately but not kicked out of office. And so we were, had just entered the stage in television of the post-OJ era, where we loved court trials and we loved, uh, hang, we, we loved the idea that there was a cliffhanger at the end of every day. Um, with Bill Clinton, there wasn't a cliffhanger after a few weeks. It was clear what was going to happen. And so interest faded in the story, at, but we had to keep doing it anyhow, so that was fun. <laughs> I covered the impeachment for NBC News and I had covered Congress for print and I would covered the White House for print and television and by then I had a sense of the way Washington worked and that would turn out to be very useful because I could almost always look at a story and instantly get an instinct for why it happened, who was behind it, what the connections were um, and that still comes in handy today.